one, the other being John Numbers and Teapot. So this is going to be a pretty solid game if either the if either player is known to anyone in here, which they should. If you've been watching the Xeno Wi-Fi weeklies, which happen every Wednesday night, uh, pretty uh, some some good players and some good caliber here. As we do see uh, Battlefield, which I know is a common counterfeit for both these players. So no shortage of comfort going into this game one. And so we're going to be having Pikachu versus Villager. Now, Pikachu, one of the few top tiers that actually managed to dodge the rounds of nerfs, unless there was some shadow nerf that I didn't hear about. No, he's um, completely untouched. I, 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 might, I might sound like everybody might hate me here. I think that Pikachu is a very fair top tier. Like, you're always going to have a character that's best in the game, and I think that Pikachu is a very high skill, uh, skill floor, high skill ceiling character. Um, but needless to say, one of the things that makes the character so strong is his ability to just get in some time. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, I don't know was... why I found that so funny, but just <laughs> like it's a raining ball. Oh, I mean, it, it was good that he took. I'm not going to go riff off of that one, but it was good Thank that you. he took the first uh, uh, took that second bowling ball, because I think it, if he had blocked it, his shield would have popped like a balloon. Yeah, Pikachu rather like getting caught by that down smash. It's the the originator of the down smash up smash it, it, for all the way back from Smash 4. Uh, the berry on that giving plenty of time for a strong kill move, especially on such a light character. And wow, okay, Pokemon, not enough. I guess not enough rage on the up smash there for Pikachu to close out that stock. And now Mousefrat's gonna have to find himself another opening, which come few and far between. And this is definitely one of the, can be one of the weaknesses with Pikachu is character can struggle to kill. And, oof, look at Pokolam. He is, he is not struggling to kill in the least. That, just like the Lorax's horrifying monster cousin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's gonna go, oh, he's not going for, he was going for an edge guard, but didn't commit too hard. Wow, really? Okay. The Lloyd just took it like a champion. And it's still not enough. Dash attack without any rage on Mouse Rat. He's struggling to kill here. And this is one thing that actually we see Pokelem do a lot. With his up B, because uh, the balloons that re get released are, they have a hurt box. That means that when opponents contact them, they actually go into hit lag. And he uses that, it seems, to like freeze his opponents in place and even to react better to what they're you know uh what they're trying to do 174 and he's landed kill moves like he's landed dash attack twice but battlefield is really coming in potent for pokemon here he looks for the grab but like just being aware of what mouse rat wants and what pikachu wants in in these high uh high percent situations like none none of the crazy confirms out of like something like up air work for mouse rat right now he just has to find a will move and Pokemon's not giving it to him as 93. I, I I have a feeling we're not gonna be seeing Battlefield for game two. Perhaps finally not. actually meant to take the stock there. But not only are the blast zones really working out for Pokelam, also the way his platform movement, the way that he's able to like drop down from the platform and throw out these slingshots and then also stay on the platform and drop the bowling balls. He's just doing a fantastic job with the mobility aspect of this stage. And I think that, truth be told, I mean, this is probably without of this is probably out of Mouse Rat's reach at this point. Um, and so, when you're thinking about game two, what kind, like like what adjustments need to be made here? Can you even start adjusting? Should you like? Yeah, that's it. He's gone. So long, farewell. We'll see you again in the next game. That's a rough one. It's a rough one to go about it, but so much of Battlefield characters and given how both players like to play their characters uh, mouse rat being a little bit more defensive of a pikachu um, you want to utilize platforms for movement if you're pikachu but and utilize like, quick attacking the platforms quick attacking across the stage and making despite being light a little bit longer but he fell behind so quickly so early that it was not it was not feasible for him to play that game plan. 
so we might want to see a, a bit of a smaller stage. Like, I could see something like Smashville coming in clutch route here. Uh, yeah. Maybe you go for a Not stage. only that, oh, but, you know, you mentioned quick attacks. Uh, and I think that when you're looking for the stage, maybe that's not what you should be thinking about being able to do as Pikachu. Because of not only, like, the, the slingshots and all these projectiles, but also the neutral layers. Pokelam just throwing out these neutral layers that cover... Because it lasts so long that it was able to just cover space if Pikachu would even think about trying to quick up track through into there. Man, he gave up the edge guard after only going for 20. It shows how much respect Pokemon, uh, Mouse Rat is giving Pokemon when he gets back to ledge. And things like Lloyd Rocket and Neutral Air, as, as prior you mentioned, were really. Oh! Oh! Really oh! Man. I wanted him to die. I wanted the clip to com be completed, but that was still hell of a lot of damage. 86 in a flash. Of damage, but it's also like the show of confidence. And by the way, in case you're wondering, uh, it is actually not necessarily, it's almost an option select to try and read the roll in because oftentimes when people get jab reset like that, they try to start DI'ing in because they're expecting to get hit by a forward smash. And that DI in also can basically be a, a buffered roll in. So definitely that's something where uh, ooh, ooh, uh, it's not that it's not that it's not as hard of a read as you would think, basically. Oh, the ledge trump so sneaky on Mouse Rat's part. As he, yeah, he commits to the ledge trap and misses giving Pokemon yet another chance. Uh, one of the main weaknesses that villager that you can exploit out of villager, particularly with an edge guarding game like Pikachu, is that 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 recovery, as far as it goes, has no hitbox. But it the doesn't. Light one of, I do want to dwell on the fact that Pokemon, the way he manages to increase his defensive ability with it is he uppies into the bottom of the stage and basically makes it the timing for it completely up to him because it lasts so long and at that point mouse rat you know he's going for these moves he's like ah now you're coming to me go for the move but then he just waits it out while ballooning underneath oh yeah like uh Boko lamb looks like a, a i mean a pristine show of how to avoid edge guarding with this character but you you can stay out there quite a while as Pikachu, so by going under the stage, particularly on Smashville, you can you can go for some deep edge guards, and that might be what Mouse Rat has to do, because when it comes to just an on-stage slugfest, Pokalam's been consistently taking these stocks first. And yeah, missing the tech chase, and is he dead? He's really dead, okay. See? Sorry, I, I, I blinked. Yeah, it, it's been known to happen. The bowling ball which comes out of nowhere. and It's the power of platforms. So while Smashville can give so much to Pikachu, given his combo extensions, they also do plenty of job for opponents, giving a little bit more escapability, or in the case of Villager, a little more kill power. The the fantastic evasion and spacing though from mouse rat able to uh, avoid the tree and get to the ledge but evasion isn't what's needed here it definitely helps you know not dying helps but he needs to find a way to close out this stock from poker lamp and continue <laughs> what was that he would he was just a little frames frames too eager on the punish he saw down to smash one whiff and he said, if we could get a slow mo on this one. Did he as... roll behind? I don't even. He no, did he like rolled... a turnaround. Was it? He, did he... He, teched, he teched, he rolled. Mouse Rat did. Down smash one no, comes out. Was... He looks oh, for the yeah, punish no, he... and gets caught. Oh. But it might have been. Because notice that he turned around during it, right? Oh, yeah. No, Pokelam was looking for. He was trying to mix him up while he was holding shield. But Mouse Rat did the right option. He didn't flinch, and then he rolled out of the situation. He was just frames too eager on the punish, and that got him killed. And that was also frames and pixels. That seems like it oh, was true. The, the very, very edge of that down smash. But all the stars align, everything connected it the way it needed to, and that's Pokalem now guaranteed top eight uh, winner's side.